Average time to complete the game, 40 minutes. This isn't right up front, huh? Average time to complete, 40 minutes. Pretty much, if you take longer than 40 minutes, you suck. Alright, let's make sure this is where it should be. Okay, full screen, yes. Max FPS. 20. Uh, settings, sound, back. Settings, graphics. Good, back. Uh, new game. Let's go. Chapter 1. The Wicked. Started Chapter 1. The TV is some drums down here. Books. Look at that book. Time to Die. Wow. There's some copies here. Steve Queen right there is another Steve Queen book. That one and that one, the same. Different sizes, though. Look at that. Look at that axe. It's time. It's 8.57. Which is kind of funny, because it's... Now it's 8.58. It's 8.53 here. If I pause the game... Which I won't do, because that would be silly. For, uh, like, just about four minutes, we could be on time exactly with the game. Immersion would be real. Getting a bump from this game? Yeah, just easy achievements. Silent Hill 2 randomizer? Is that a thing? I know Resident Evil has a bunch of randomizers. Like, all of them do. It's pretty cool. I love watching the randomizers. I was watching, um... Oh, hell, who was it? A couple weeks ago. Do, uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake Randomizer. What the fuck is that? You hear that? That was weird sounding. Holy shit, dude. Get out of here with your top hat. The fuck was that about? What's up, dude? Nice uh, axe you got there. Is that is that for me? She shouldn't have done that in your bed. She deserves to be punished. Ugh. Yikes. Dear Ben, you've been living in the basement for months and haven't come out. You're going crazy. And dragging us along. The kids and I don't understand what's going on with you. You've become aggressive and you're talking out, taking all your anger out on us. Ellis is sick. It's hard for her to live in such an environment and Jacob is still too young. I don't want him to get hurt. Know that we have the right to live without you. I tried to discuss everything with you in a normal settings, but you don't seem to make contact. I just want you to know that we have someone who will take care of us. All you have to do is let us go. Let us do this. Sincerely. Evelyn. Yikes. Yikes. Chapter 2, April 24th, 1991. Well, we, uh, we apparently have a video camera because we have to record this. It's now 3.15 in the morning. A little space here. So the dude's just been living down here in this bed. With this TV. 
in the basement for a long time. Um, based on that last message, it sounds like he's under the impression his wife had cheated on him. Uh, in their bed in particular. And now we have to um, ask her some questions. Apparently. So, uh, let's, let's go do that. Oh, hey, dude. Got the, uh, got this axe. That way. Cool. Thank you. All right. Is he still there? He's gone. He, uh... He showed us the way, and then he dipped out. Sure. Alright. In the house. Well. With the spaghetti and meatballs. It looks like some beers overturned. Nobody ate their dinner, though. Nobody ate shit. It's weird. Are you just gonna not eat your meal? There's a fire going. Who would leave a fire going? It's not safe. There's not even any grate in the front of this fire. This whole living room could catch, catch fire. Alright, let's get over here. Animals. You're just gonna keep... Do it. What if I just leave? Leaving is an alternative to murder. Alright, I guess not. I guess we gotta murder. Alright. This door is open. A wheelchair. Okay. Door. Another. Guessing that's the other kid's room. Alright, so here's the door. To, uh... Guessing the master bedroom, maybe. Can't look at anything. Got a little couch sitting area before the master bedroom. That's kind of nice, huh? I and mean, if that's even what this is. Hmm. Another staircase. Oh, dude! Man, rude. I want to see what this. It's over here. It's probably nothing, huh? Laundry room. Got it. Upstairs laundry room. I don't see that too often. Usually downstairs or in the basement, huh? My name is Sean Miller, and I'm uh, conducting a journalistic investigation of the brutal murders on the outskirts of the city that occurred on April 24th. I want to find out the true cause of this crime and find the answers to all these questions. What was going on in that bedroom? <sighs> Start chapter three. A lot of VHS tapes. A lot of VHS tapes. What the fuck? A lot, lot of VHS. VHS everywhere. Do could open up a video store. Although they look like recordable tapes. So what are we doing? Are we watching tapes? What are you doing here? Oh, hmm. Hmm. Well. 
Oh, here we go. On April 24th, a brutal murder took place in the house in the outskirts of the city. A man killed his entire family with an axe. The accused himself called the police and was arrested on the spot. The man testifies and says that he was influenced by a certain man in a hat and that he forced him to commit this crime. The police have no further comment. We will monitor developments in this case. So the cat in the hat told us to do it. Sure. Can I leave now? No. What are we doing here? Do I gotta take it? Did I not take it? No, it's just a dismiss. Hmm. No interacting with the TV set. Nothing over here. Nothing here. We can crouch. It's new, I suppose. I don't know. I sit. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's with these noises? You hear that shit? Oh, here. Look, look at this. Pieces of me. All right. All right, we're loading VHS tapes. Here we go, chapter four, pieces of me. Very short chapters. We've locked the door with rope and put a cross into it. Well, there's a skull there. With a hammer and some nails. It's a way to, to decorate, I suppose. Need to look for a knife. What the hell? Wow. I mean, some people say dolls aren't creepy, but... Uh, this one's trying really hard. Wow, alright. Let's go look for that knife, I suppose. Oh, hey, there we go. Take the knife. The fuck? Can I stop, uh, stab this doll? Oh, we're cutting the rope. Gotcha. Okay. Paintings. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, staircase. Wow, that door is unnecessarily boarded. Why that many boards? What was that? Uh, uh huh. <laughs> Damn, that was loud. Crazy, creepy kid blowing out my eardrums. It's a lock on that door. Time to die. Everybody has a copy of that book, apparently. All right, maybe over here. All right, well, that works. Okay, so this is clearly the same house. It's clearly the same house. I remember because of this laundry. Uh, hmm. I 
guess we got to go see what that was. Is that downstairs? Like, what the hell was that? What the fuck that was? Everything looks the same. This house sounds evil. Alright, um, I, get, I bet that key is probably in the laundry room. Let's go back up. Look in the laundry room. See if we can find that key. This game has a lot of helping hands everywhere. If you've noticed, uh, anywhere there's a red, bloody handprint generally indicates you gotta touch something by it. I don't see that in here, though. Unless I'm missing it. No interactions, no interactions. Nothing, nothing. The cupboards, the closets. Kind of would have thought we'd open up the dryer or something. Nothing there, nothing. Oh, hey, look at this. We got a crowbar. That didn't have a handprint. All right, so crowbar. I, I guess we can go open that door now. No? What are we using the crowbar for? This door, maybe? You sure you want to open that door, dude? I would have seen that thing and been like, you know what, never mind. Don't need to really open that door. Dirty plates. Pizza! This game has pizza. This is now the perfect game. What do you want, thing? It's 315. Oh, the key. Hey. There we go. We got the key. I can't go that way now. I gotta go this way. Now where are we? a coffin. Just random coffin. Can we interact with the coffin? Something hitting the coffin? anything that was weird but okay Oh, here it is, here it is. Here's the phone. Nobody was there. What's this? Looks like the shelf from downstairs.
So I'm guessing we have to find our way back to the basement. I guess this thing is watching us. Yeah. Was that what said it? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess so. They are watching us. Going to the arcade today for your birthday? Lido, happy birthday to you. What are you looking forward to playing? That was rude. <laughs> Tie the rope to the door? Close and board up the coffin. Need to find a cross to put on the coffin. Okay. Where did we see a cross? I think over here, right? No? Thought we did. In the safe? Red book. I guess it's this thing, huh? The safe is open, really. What a weird mechanic for your safe. The fuck was that? Okay, crucifix. What are you <laughs> Ellis, mom, he, Jacob. Okay. Maybe that's not a doll. Maybe that's supposed to be the kid he killed. Okay, we put a cross on the coffin. Now what? Okay, that was a weird chapter. Saving the game, chapter five, the touch of evil. Okay, now what? This door is now slightly boarded with an upside down cross on the top. Things are getting worse for this supposed investigator. Need to lock the door with a chain. What chain? Do you see a chain? I don't see no chain. A 4D zombie game. Looking forward to it. Nice. Hell yeah. Well, I hope you have a lot of fun. And happy birthday to you again. You know, I don't... I don't see a chain. Oh, maybe it said chair, and I just thought it meant chain because of the previous chapter. 
proof of death. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, damn. Wow. Oh, there's a rat eating them. There's a rat eating them. Wow. Man. Did a number on these people. Oh, man. Rat eating the face. Jeez. Alright. Bloody footprints. They went this way. What are we supposed to do here, huh? Proof of death? I mean, they're dead as fuck. Chains. Do I need to get the rats off them, maybe? No. Nothing with the bodies? It says one. No. Game. There's a lot of blood. This room is gruesome. If not slightly cryptic. None of the drawers, none of the items. Chair, drawers, stuff on the ground. Stuff. Nothing with one. I mean, there's definite numbers around here, like six, five, two, seven, four, three, one through seven. I can't just walk through the door, apparently. That would have been too easy. I, I'm not seeing what to touch here. Look at that rat eat that dude, I guess. Trying to interact with literally everything here. We're obviously not seeing something. What the shit? You guys seeing anything, chat, that I'm missing? I'm obviously missing something. Like, we haven't found a single thing in this chapter to touch. Bugs. <laughs> Feel very confused. <gasps> there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Man, that was a good hide. Good hide there, Dev. Alright, we made our way out of the murder room. I need a key. You have a hacksaw, dude. I don't need no key. 
Crime scene. Do not enter. The hell you say? I can open this with a bolt cutter, but we have a hacksaw. Maybe it's like a really shitty hacksaw. Like... We used it on that chain and the hacksaw was just destroyed. I need to find the password. Hey, 3C. 3C. Wrong. Alright, but 3C. Thanks, dude. If 3C and 4A, 3B, 3C, 4A. Five D. Okay. I'm guessing that opens that, not that door, like I originally thought. 3C, 3C, 3B, 4A, 5D, right? 5D, 3B, 4A. 3B, 3C, 4A, 5D. Hmm. Okay. This game's interesting. Three B, three C, four A, five D. So four. Okay, that was that wasn't too bad. All right. Ben, I can't live like this anymore. I want to get a divorce and sell the house. My torment has been unbearable and I need freedom. Please give me the opportunity to start a new chapter in my life. Sincerely, Evelyn. Oh. Oh. Hey, you ate a key, dude. Okay. Well, we know that key opens this door. It's got it, right? Let's finish looking in this room before we leave this room. Actually, it's a small room, so I guess we can just leave. Sticky notes. Hmm. Pills. Look at all these pills. Crime scene. Do not enter. Crime scene. Do not enter. Yikes. Now let's take down the crime scene tape. That rat is in their neck. Man. There's something behind the door. I need to find something to open it with. Probably like a crowbar or something, I'd imagine. Maybe we could open it with that rat. Man, that rat apparently ate her entire head. Need some bolt cutters. 
Said we could use that in the other room, so... A leaf from the diary. Dear diary, mom and dad were fighting again today. If I wasn't a burden, I could help them with little Jacob. He requires a lot of attention, and I give them a lot of trouble. It hurts me so much to look at them and see how they suffer because of me and Jacob. If I hadn't been there, my parents wouldn't be much... My ha I can't talk anymore today. My parents would have been much happier. Here we go. They wouldn't have to worry about my health. I feel useless and unnecessary. And I would like to be the best daughter for them. Well, you're dead now. All right. Let's go use the bolt cutters. Hey, it's the falling sheet trick. You don't see that too often in games, surprisingly. Alright, we use the bolt cutters. Ah, there we go. Crowbar. Crowbar. Oh shit. It's weird. <laughs> hey, there's the axe. I don't know why we need this axe again. Everyone looks like they're already dead. This door, maybe? No. No. Hey, is this dude? Mr. Stitch. Chapter 7, there is no way out. Guess it's that videotape, huh? So we literally just saw somebody come through that door. I mean, it was really more of like a door right here. But we could say it was that door. And, uh, watched ourselves almost get... get killed. It's your turn to make a movie. What is this, VHS? Oh. We have VHS vision. Guess we probably need a crowbar. Thanks, creepy doll, wherever you went. The fuck? So uh... Oh. There's a door where that, uh, that TV used to be. Do it. Hmm. Well, this changed. Huh. 
Huh. Can I open the clock? Oh! Finish your movie. Get on the chair. Oh, yikes. No. Hey, you have stuff carved in your head. What, is, what does that say? I have completed this investigation, but unfortunately, I will not be able to publish it. The house is a source of madness. It has consumed me. I wanted to find the truth, but instead I found death. It's all about the man in the hat. He oppresses his victims and makes them do terrible things. Ben recorded everything on tapes. I saw that man forcing Ben to kill his wife for cheating, but it wasn't enough for him. He continued to stalk him until Ben, uh, ben killed his entire family. No, I'm his next victim. I can't stand up to him, Sean Miller. You sure you can? Hmm. I mean. Oh. Wow, really? That's. What are you waiting for? Achievement? There's gotta be another way, right? Like, is that really how we're, we're ending the game? I imagine we're ending the game, unless it blanks out again. I don't see anything else. I already looked in that drawer. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Shit. All right. Nobody? Developer. Nobody. Sound designer. Nobody. Nobody designed this game. coffin with that thing is this the end apparently it was unless I mean, that was a question mark, so what if we do continue? Is that not really the end? Oh, I'm, I guess it was. I guess it was the end. Unless it wasn't, and there's some other ending that we're not aware of. Uh, I didn't see a way out. I kind of want to see if we can force something. Your turn to make a movie. <laughs> Person soup portrayed by 
Nobody. Fudge, well, thank you so much for the hundred bits. I appreciate that. Nobody. Nobody LLC. Just keep opening them. There we go. I think there was like ten doors. Dismiss. This one, this one. Do it. Oh, we gotta do this whole thing again? Oh, here, I guess I can lower the volume of the game a little bit since we're just trying to see if there's any other, any alternate endings. This was interesting. It was a short, very short. Um, little horror game. You can see what they tried to do here. You know, dude killed his family because of uh, demonic oppression in the house. Um, kind of same similar vein to like maybe the story, more or less anyway, of like Amityville. Um, and what happened there. We've seen this done in other games. Uh, what was that other one that's kind of like Visage? Um, but not visage. It's like the same thing. It was really good. I'd have to look for it. Uh, we've played it a couple times on the channel. It's a really good game. N reminds me of that, although that really doesn't tell you anything. Um, we'll just look around the room here for a minute. But it was it was decent. I think you know, it's hard to sell a game this short. I think for any amount of money. To an extent, like five dollars, like I hate to say, like ah, five dollars, like I think it was decent enough for five dollars, but I really wish they would have done more with it. Like, it's I see this so often with indie games where they they do something like interesting like this, and they got a lot of good elements to it. I almost think this dude could have been redesigned a bit, stitch dude in a hat's kind of a weird way to go, but um. You know, it had a lot of good elements, an interesting enough story. The developer definitely didn't shy away from the gore that rats eating the bodies and in the bed that were murdered, you know, was, was cool. But I, I would have liked to have seen a bit more from this game. More backstory, more about this dude getting his slow oppression that ultimately led to this. Excuse me? It ultimately leads to this, I guess. There's doesn't seem like there's any other way to go about it. Um, you know, I'm kind of surprised there's not a, an alternate ending, especially the way they worded that achievement. Um, but it was fine. I enjoyed it. I think this uh, developer... I don't even know if it's the same developer. This could be just published by that person or listed by that person. We wrote our little note there. I really don't see anything else to do. I was hoping maybe we would see something, like maybe we can grab that cross and like shove it in his face or some shit like that, or you know, something else. I think that's probably it. It's probably the only way to go. If we read that again now, is it different? now and there's nothing else that can be done no stabbing him in the back no grabbing the hammer and the nails that would have been cool but no yeah nothing I guess that's just the only ending amnesia no not amnesia it was um I'll look it up. I'll look it up right now real quick because that's going to bother me. We'll just go back to camera for a moment here. <laughs> 